Hi. Happy New Year. It is 2023. How many of you, I mean, I know I will, how many of you are going to take like at least a month to get used to writing that when you have to sign a date on something? Like we're getting ready to close on our house and I know I'm going to have to sign my name and date like 95 times and I'm like how many of those signatures will say 2022 and I'll have to do the thing where I like scribble it out or I try to like make the two a three you know anyway happy new year it is a brand new year new year new me no I don't I don't think I've ever subscribed to new year new me new year new possibilities new year new expansion new year more delicious choices and freedoms. I think though that's, that's more my speed. Uh, Today, I'm going to give you a human design thing. um, And I'm going to talk about a little bit about kind of goal setting with your human design. I'm going to give you like some tips based on each type. And then I'm going to give you kind of like my strategy for January as a business owner and you can feel free to steal it if you want. Okay, so human design and goal setting. Okay, here's some tips. So I'll start with my generator types. Generators I mean, and manifesting generators. Goal setting really uh, probably isn't your best strength because your job is to be lit up by what you are doing. Manifesting generators especially, you are not really meant to be making plans like a year from now. So for generators and manifesting generators, I would really keep your goals more in the immediate. I would keep them a little bit more... Uh, you know, few, like like current. So for me personally, I'm a generator and I'm not setting goals for like, by the end of the year, I want to do this. I'm more just thinking about like how I want to feel by the end of the year. So yes, I am like setting goals. I want to, you know, do X amount in my business and I want to, you know, add this many services or I want to hire this many teammates. Like I do have those goals. But for new year, like really what I'm thinking about is like, I want to feel more expansion. I want to feel more free. And I'm going to do things that give me those feelings because those feelings light me up. And if I'm lit up, everyone wins. Manifesting generators, you're going to probably have a lot of ideas at the beginning of the year. You always do. You're always like, oh, I can do this and I can do that. And what if I want to do this? And what if I want to do that? And all of those things are really powerful. Um, But don't, I would say like, don't hold yourself to them because they could change. And when y'all get yourself into this space of like, well, no, I said I was going to do this. So now I have to finish it out. Then you start to get really burnt out. And that's when you start to feel frustrated and angry. And so my advice to you is to keep your goals short. And if there's things you want to put out, so like if you're, if you're in the coaching industry and you want to put out things, do them quickly. Don't schedule something for like three months down the line. Like don't start pre-sale for something in three months. Like what masterclasses do you want to do in January? Put them out. Um, give yourself, give yourself short timelines, let your excitement, like follow through with your excitement quickly. Cause that's, that's your skill. Like y'all are your, your hyperspeed, right? When you have an idea, you can execute it in seconds. So really give yourself that power to do so. Um, my projectors, goal setting for you is a little bit, is a little bit more tactile. Like I think, I think projectors like you, like to look at your life and be like, these are all the things I'd like to accomplish. So I would say if anything, just get really clear on what you want to do. Um, don't I like write yourself notes. Like I think those are, that's a really great idea for, for projectors is to write your goals down, put them on boards, put them on sticky notes, put them on your vision board, like whatever it is, because if you're doing that, then you're not going to have to overthink it. And you know, you have a very small and very efficient battery. So you don't have a lot of time to be like, well, what was that thing I really wanted to do? So giving yourself, you know, tools like lists and giving yourself the space to see your goals written down, then you're going to be able to execute them a lot quicker. And I think with a lot less um, confusion and 
Um, let your goals come from things that you are already good at. So don't look for the validation from others when it comes to setting your goals for the new year. Like really just pay attention to what are you interested in? What are you good at? And make goals around those things. Manifestors, there's probably something that you're like, ooh, that sounds really fascinating. And maybe you didn't act on it in 2022. I would say now's the time to act on it and just like bust it out just similar to a manifesting generator like when you're when you're ready to go like you're ready to go and so i think goal setting for you is more of like what's that thing that thing that you've just been so excited about now is the time to just like make it happen stop waiting on it stop thinking about it because that dwelling on it you don't have the battery for that you don't have the bandwidth for that so stop dwelling on the things you really want to do and just like make them happen and see how that like really changes your, you know, the start to your year. And reflectors, I think goal setting for you is, um, it's more nuanced. You have to follow, you have to do things that, you know, surprise and delight you. And if you're surprised and you're delighted, then you're going to be, um, you're going to feel a lot more successful and a lot more in alignment. So maybe, Think about like the, the people or the circumstances or the energy that you really enjoy being around and make goals around that. So maybe it's like making more time to spend with like that person because that person really brings out like a creative flow in you. Like those are good goals for you to have and make your goals a little bit longer. Like let them let them be drawn out because you obviously need time to listen to your intuition. You need time to reflect. And so you know, if there, if it is like a program you want to launch or something that you want to put out in your business, like maybe, maybe make it for uh, next month and spend this month, like really getting to know it a little bit and really diving deep into the energy of it and putting the right people in place to help you execute. I think that's a really smart way for you to set goals in the new year. Um, I, I love this conversation. I mean, and then also look at your, for this for every type, look at your, you know, your manifestation process. Is it active or is it passive? And, um, you know, like me, I'm, a, I'm passive. I'm a non-specific manifester. So for me, it's like, I, I really can't be thinking about really strict details when it comes to my vision board or my goals for the year. I, like I said, I kind of have to think about feeling and how I want to feel doing the things that I'm doing. And then that usually leads me to more excitement where if I'm trying to like plan out too many details, I get really frustrated and then I feel burnt out. So pay attention to whether you're specific or non-specific. If you're specific or active, details are your jam. So write more details down, like put it on sticky notes, make a vision board, get really specific and clear about the things that you want and the things you want to achieve. Um, and I think you'll feel a lot more at peace when you do that. I, this is the first time I've really like had a strategy for how I'm going to launch a new year. Um, <laughs> and I want to share it with you in case you're trying to have like a strategy for your business in January. So I started pre-sale for a mastermind. We started the launch with Power Mastermind on Sunday on New Year's and that runs for eight weeks. So that will bring me to the end of February. And I like to have recurring income. So this is when we talk about scalability of your business. You really want to make sure that you have recurring income and you want to make sure that you have like small cash injections, um, but you're not relying on those small cash injections. So I already have, I think I have like $50,000 worth of um auto pay recurring payments scheduled in January. So anything else I do is considered overflow. I mean, anything over 30,000 a month for me is considered overflow, but it's just extra cash injections. So I have a few master classes that I have planned for the next couple of months, as well as a new program that I'll be launching towards the end of January that will kind of overlap with Launch With Power Mastermind. And the reason I do that is because I always want to have a new and fun way for my clients to jump into my world. And I want to have like new and exciting opportunities for people to work with me. And so, yes, of course, you can go to my website, daniellemcleary.com slash courses, and you can 
purchase any of the on-demand courses that I have on there. And that's always great. And those are always making money. But having something new to like draw new clients in is a really great way. But then also having like a flow for people. So if I am, if I have a mastermind that somebody's going to be a part of, I'm going to think about, okay, they're going to be done at the end of February. So then how can I move them along into something else? So I'll, I'll start to think about different programs that I can launch around the end of the other one. So people can like seamlessly stay in my world, um, instead of this like stop and start thing, which is just frustrating for your clients, but it's also frustrating for you because then your income is not consistent. So there is a way to create consistency within your business. Um, you just have to be willing to plan it ahead of time. And obviously planning things ahead of time has never been my strong suit. It is something that I'm actively working on and I'm getting better on, getting better at every single day. And it's still not like my strongest area. So that is why I have a team that's going to help me plan these things out. So when you're thinking about your strategy for the month or for the first quarter, so Q1 of 2023, um, which is the first three months, so till the end of March, do you have, I mean, this is why I love payment plans, right? Payment plans are great because they keep these like recurring income for you. They keep money coming in on auto pay every month. And so do you have an opportunity for your, like, do you have that in your business? Do you have um, small cash injections that you can just like, throw in like master classes, little workshops, group programs, whatever that you can like pepper in. Um, and do you have a funnel that keeps people in your world? So like, do you have things that move your clients? So if somebody came into my world, um, last week because they participated in the shift forward masterclass, do I have a way for them to continue to stay in my world? Yes, I have the Launch with Power Mastermind. So the Launch with Power Mastermind is a perfect way for somebody to stay in my world and continue to work on the things that they're working on. Um, so yeah, steal that. Consistent income, reoccurring payments, cash injections, and a way for people to stay in your world. That's what creates sustainability in your business. Um, and it'll ultimately be a lot less of a headache for you. I hope this is helpful. I hope that you have a great start to your new years. I am looking forward to 2023, 2022 for me felt like a lot of like sh chains were breaking off. Like I felt like I was like taking armor off all year and like really getting clear on like who I wanted to become. And I just feel like 2023 is going to be a year of huge expansion for me and, um, just massive growth on like all levels, not just my business. And I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm, I'm wishing you the same thing. My coach asked me um, last week at the end of the year, how do you want your clients to feel going into 2023? And I said, uh, open, ready, expansive and free. And that is what I hope for you. I hope that you are going into this year feeling that or that you have a path that you've laid out for yourself in order to feel more like that. And obviously, if you don't feel like that, there are so many ways to jump into my swimming pool. And I would love to have you come swim with us because this is what we do over here in my land. So happy 2023, y'all. See you next week with a brand new episode or see you on Friday with a brand new episode. Love you.